We're continuing the construction of the Texas Twister. What is the Texas Twister, you ask? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. We're building the Texas Twister rocket kit in this video. Um, we're in probably step seven. I can't remember which one. They're getting, it's getting long. Um, in this step, or what the Texas Twister is, is a helicopter rocket that has these uh, flaps that can't over, and that causes the rocket to rotate as it comes down. It'll spin down to the ground like that. Um, in this step, we're going to start gluing together the rocket. Um, our first thing that we can do is glue up the nose cone. Now, the nose cone has a shoulder, and then we just put super glue on the inside, and that will be enough to glue it up. Just like that. I always give it a spin to make sure that the, the glue is smeared all the way around. Um, next we're going to put the launch lugs on. Uh, previously we drew the launch lug line and it's in line with one of the slots. I want to extend that further up the tube. So you can use a door frame or you can use an angle like I have. Just extend that all the way up the tube like that. Um, now we want to go one and a half inches from the front. That will be the front launch lug. It's sliding around on me. There's one inch, one and a half. And then the back one goes right at the, uh, the joint where the two tubes come together. So we'll put the back one right there. And I'm using thick super glue here. Uh, you could also use wood glue, but super glue um, goes a little quicker. So I'm putting the back one on first. Make sure that it's in line with, the, with that line you've made. And then we'll put the front one on. The location is not too critical on this rocket. Have my line of glue here, and I'm going to ignore the instructions. The instructions say put the rear edge of the launch lug here, but I'm going to put the front edge just because I think it looks cooler. Like I said, it's not too critical. Um, the launch lugs are only used during the initial portion of the flight. Um, then I want to sight down the launch lugs to make sure that neither of them are crooked because otherwise it's going to bind up on the launch rod. Um, now the nose cone actually does get glued onto the tube. This is one of the only rockets in our lineup that actually the nose is glued onto the, glued onto the tube and that's um, typically you don't want to do that because you want the recovery device to come out. But because this is a piston, um, sliding piston arrangement, I need this nose cone to stay on so that it, the top of the tube is pressurized. So that will get glued on there like that. Any glue that oozes out, just wipe off with a paper towel. And hold that on there until it dries. Okay, our next step is to glue the fins on. Uh, the instructions say that the fins are glued on 3 16 inches from the rearward from the joint line. 3 16 is not very much. Um, so it's right here. Oh shoot, I grew screwed up. <laughs> that is not the launch lug line. I put the line on the wrong line. Fortunately, they're still kind of um, kind of soft. So I'm going to re-glue them. So I'm going to put the fins on in the next step. And right now I'm going to re-glue on the launch lugs. So to make sure that you put the line in the right spot. <laughs> 
There we go. I wonder if you caught that. This one just make sure that you don't cover up the slot so this one's going to hang over the edge of the, the joint line just ever so slightly that's fine like I said it's not too critical where these are here's my line from there Okay, I like that. So the next time we'll glue on the fins, I promise. I really do, because that's really the next step anyway. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. So may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.